If you grew up in the 90s, then there is no doubt that you were partially raised by Blue's Clues. And like many of us, you are aware that Steve eventually ended up leaving us with his brother Joe so that he could go to college and start his life. That means there's a good chance that you've also seen the new message that Steve Burns, the original star of Blue's Clues, came back to give us that brought us all to tears. And interestingly enough, there is yet another conspiracy theory surrounding his reappearance, this time in connection to a Pixar film. But in order to get the scoop on this one, we need to go way back to the beginning in 1996. We all remember those years where children and parents alike got to witness Steve, a 20 plus year old man, who was accompanied by his trusted companion Blue. The two danced and sang their way around our television sets while us kids grew up on the other side of the screen. We learned everything from basic problem solving skills to the importance of being kind to others and having friends to share your time with. Steve would often speak directly to the camera, addressing us, the viewers, with questions and prompts followed by a momentary pause, as if he was giving us time to answer. And if you remember right, Steve and Blue weren't by themselves. Steve and his pup had an entire house full of friends, such as Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper and the mailbox. It was really wacky when you think about it, a house full of anthropomorphic objects that helped us teach us right from wrong, and we wouldn't have had it any other way. Though a lot of us haven't met him in person, in a lot of ways, Steve and his companions were just that, our first friends as kids. So when Steve came back with that surprise message for us just in time for the Blue's Clues 25th anniversary, it had us weeping. Though he had clearly gotten older, it was almost as if he was exactly the same as the last time we saw him, aside from his hat and glasses of course. But to have our old friend in our living room once again, speaking to us just like he did when we were younger, was wonderful. It brought us all back to a place where things seemed a bit simpler, and to have him tell us that he too had struggles in life, including those adult problems we now face no longer as kids, that bond seemed to immediately reform. Steve seemed to get our struggles as kids, as we worked tirelessly on the other side of the screen to find those famous clues, as well as in adulthood, where we struggled with bigger problems, like existential crises and mounting uncertainties. And of course, it was great to see Steve looking happy and healthy, especially after all of the rumors began circulating about him when we were younger, which many of you have probably heard. Rumors like Steve getting addicted to drugs or passing away after he left Blue's Clues, which thankfully proved to be false now. Despite this, for some reason, his memorable acts always seemed to spur the craziest conspiracy theories. Even coming back to talk to us as adults had the internet predicting that he was somehow connected to the war on Afghanistan. The conspiracies don't stop there either, but as mentioned, there is actually a fun one out there that we are going to explore today. Now, I know Blue's Clues doesn't fall under Disney's massive array of franchises. However, what a lot of people didn't realize is that a lot of us have actually seen Steve between him leaving Blue's Clues and his most recent message. In fact, fans are theorizing that Steve and all of our other friends from the show were recreated for us in secret by Pixar. If you take a look at Pixar's Up, you will not only find striking similarities to Blue's Clues in the characters and the plotline, but you'll even see what many people believe to be a cameo of Steve in the film, as Carl and his house fly across the city. You can see a man who's dressed just like Steve was, and even looks like he has the same haircut. How crazy is that? And hold on, because that's just the clue, no pun intended, that led fans to this theory. There are three more clues out there that actually seem to prove this conspiracy true. The first clue we have is actually regarding the physical similarities between the TV show and the film. I'm not sure if you've realized this, but did you know that Pixar's Up had the same character set up as Blue's Clues? It's true, they even had the same physical layout too. The only difference between the two comes to us in the form of the objects being alive or not. Let me explain a bit. So, in Blue's Clues, almost everything in and around Steve and Blue's home was portrayed as a living being. For example, we had Shovel and Pail, two very alike and quirky characters in Blue's Clues who happened to be an object rather than an animal or a human, but still alive nonetheless. And that's not including half the Blue's Clues characters either. Half of Steve's house was alive in some shape or form, despite being an inanimate object. Now in this theory's connection, it turns out that every single one of these characters can be found in Pixar's Up, the only difference being that some of them are just the object rather than being a living thing although there are a few characters that actually ended up being portrayed as an entirely different species. Despite this, the resemblance is still clearly there through their mannerisms and character creation. For instance, take a look at the two we were just talking about, Shovel and Pale. Though we may not know them as Shovel and Pale in the movie, we definitely see them in Up, and they actually play major roles. Looking at Pale first, many mistook her to be a male on the show, when in reality, she was actually a female. Does that sound familiar at all? Maybe a particular bird named Kevin, who ended up being a ladybird? And who was Kevin's closest friend in the movie? 
none other than Russell, the Wilderness Explorer Guide. Do you know what comes in handy for Wilderness Explorers and happens to be Pale's best friend? Bingo! That would be Shovel for sure. That's not everyone either. The most obvious and very helpful character that we see in both Blue's Clues and Up is Blue the Dog, who is represented by Doug in the Pixar film. And then we have Blue's owner, and Doug's new owner, the main characters of the respective show and movie, Steve and Carl Fredrickson. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. They both play the main role and are always on the lookout for the next adventure or clue. Now, I know it may seem like they miss putting in quite a few characters, like Slippery Soap or Side Table Drawer, but many people believe it's safe to assume that they were there the whole time, just as their inanimate forms scatter throughout Carl's home, which, by the way, is colorful like Steve and Blue's house too. In fact, Mailbox makes an appearance in Up by playing a major role in Ellie and Carl's relationship growth, where Carl accidentally leaves his painted hamper on the side of it, and Ellie adds hers for fun and support. Plus, we also see Steve's thinking chair in the film as well. It's the exact combination of Ellie and Carl's chairs that they always sat together in, but obviously split up into two for the two people who lived there, before Ellie sadly passed away, that is. But why would some of the characters come back as living things in Up, and not all of them? The easy answer is, they simply were not needed to create the storyline of Up, but as one fan pointed out, the inanimate objects that do come alive in the film, Shovel and Pale, are outside objects. The theory is that Carl was going to need help from outside characters if he was actually going to complete his journey to Paradise Falls. So the only characters, other than Blue and Steve, that can come back in full force are some of the outside characters like Shovel and Pale. Had the movie taken place more inside rather than outside, things might have been totally different. Some even speculate that Carl could have lost his mind in that house and started talking to his side table drawer or the salt and pepper shakers, but luckily, that wasn't the plot of the movie at all. His journey took place in the wilderness, therefore, he needed Shovel and Pale to help him along. Perhaps the best thing that ties Blue's Clues to the Pixar movies is the fact that you can clearly find the Luxo Ball, which was created by Pixar in Blue's Clues. And if the character links didn't tell you on how similar Up is to Blue's Clues, perhaps this will. Everyone knows the plot of Up, it's a movie that follows Carl Fredrickson, a boy who grew up with a heart for adventure, and he shared that heart with the love of his life, Ellie. After Ellie sadly passed away, Carl, who is now 78 years old, decides to fulfill his and Ellie's dream of finding Paradise Falls rather than going to a nursing home. He uses his expertise as a balloon salesman and ties up thousands and thousands of balloons to his house and flew away on a new adventure. Of course, things got even crazier for Carl when he had realized he had a stowaway on board a wilderness explorer guide by the name of Russell who tried to help him earlier in the film. And of course, along the way, the pair meets a few more friends, like Doug, the dog who was able to talk thanks to the high-tech collar he had, and Kevin the Snipe, who ended up being a girl and a mother to a bunch of baby snipes. The connection this film shares with Blue's Clues is almost the exact same storyline when you think about it. Over the course of the movie Up, we see the group grow close with one another after overcoming obstacle after obstacle, just trying their best to safely make it to Paradise Falls. They may not have been looking for clues, but they were working together as a team to overcome the challenges thrown at them throughout the film. And it's obvious that when they were being kind to one another and working together, things went so much smoother for Russell, Carl, Doug, and Kevin. It is a lot like Blue's Clues in most ways, just with adult problems and life concepts, like passing of loved ones, that were too mature for the Blue's Clues audience at the time. In a lot of ways, when you look at it, Up was a version of Blue's Clues that was clearly geared towards adults or their older viewers that grew up watching Steve and Blue help each other find clues together. It's really cool, especially when you notice the Steve cameo that Pixar put in during the scene where Carl's house was flying across the sky. And the final clue that really ties everything together is the final endings of both the film and the TV series that seems to line up with one another perfectly. When it comes to the ending of Blue's Clues, Steve announces that he's leaving the show to go off to college. In doing so, he leaves everything and everyone in the house behind, and he gets into a bus and drives off. And that's the exact decision that Carl has to face at the end of his film. He has to let go of his home and all the memories inside of it, including the picture of his beloved Ellie. And hold on, what else happened at the end of the movie? Carl ended up coming back to Russell and pretty much becoming the father figure that was missing in his life. And what did Steve just recently do for all of us? He came back! Many think that Carl and Steve both share the same fatherly quality, especially after Steve told us how much we meant to him. Having someone who many of us looked up to as children now come back to speak to us as adults, telling us that he relates to our struggles and that he is proud of every one of us for doing our best, was exactly how Russell must have felt when Carl showed up to receive his badge. Heck, maybe Steve will even take us out for ice cream later. One can hope. It's clear that the Pixar team that created Up took a lot of inspiration from Blue's Clues, so much so that they even included a cameo of Steve in one scene. 
making it hands down one of the most interesting Easter eggs that Pixar has given us. That's all, Disney fans. Let us know what you thought of the video in the comments, and like and subscribe for more magically packed videos.